Dear friends, today we are going to start a little celebration of graph theory. So we'll have two, three programs on that. Graph theory is a very important part of mathematics or discrete mathematics if you want to call it. It straddles both pure and applied mathematics, has huge applications in engineering. So those of my friends who are studying in, or in the engineering sciences, they would do well to study some graph theory and many in electrical engineering or network science in economics, you know, in discrete optimization, they have to really study graph theory. So graph theory is relevant to that extent. So the story of graph theory essentially starts with uh, the story of Konigsberg bridge problem. At that time, in a city in the state of Prussia. So, here was a river flowing, and both sides was the Koning, Koningsport city. And in midst of it, there were two bridges, two uh, islands. And from this part, this island was connected by two bridges. This part, this island was connected by another two bridge. This part was connected by one bridge, the smaller island. This was one bridge, and there was another connection. See if I remember correctly, this is the Koningsberg bridge problem. So, if this island, this is an island, and this is an island. So the problem is, basically you start from one of the bridges, so this point, and you have to come back to the same point without crossing a bridge more than once. Suppose I start from here and I start walking, so I go here and now Suppose I want to go here and then I go here, then I say come back here, come back here and then if I want to cross this bridge, there is no other way it seems I have to cross one of the bridges again to come to this side. So, we, so, if, I, so if I have to come back, so one, if I have to come back here and take this bridge or this bridge, so I have to take one of the bridges more than once. So, can this be actually done? So, it looks like we cannot make such a walk and how do you know that this cannot be done? So, what Euler did was to look at the thing in a very different way. So, Leonard Euler was called upon to solve this problem and this gives rise or it is the beginning of the subject of graph theory. So, graph is not the graph of a function here. Graph is a representation of a certain situation with vertices and edges connecting them. So, here we will call this point, this point as A and this point here on the other side of the river is B. Okay. And this island at this point, this side is B, so and this I, one island here, so this is A and this is B. The big island is called C and this is called D. So here is C and here is D. This is actually the places that we have to travel. So bridges, bridges connect these places. So if you want to say, okay, B and this place, okay, B is this side. So this side is connected to this island and this side is connected to this island. This whole side is now shrunk into one point B. So, B to C there are two islands, so we connect them by two edges, uh, two bridges from B to C and C to A there are two islands. And then of course, A to D there is one island and B to D there is one island, another island, another, uh, not, A to D there is one bridge, B to D there is one bridge 
and C to D, the inter-island connection. So this is what is called the graph of the Konigsberg problem. So here, he now starts stressing on this, making the walk on this. So you start from here, you can go here, you can go here, you can go here and come back here. So when I start from this, I have to come back here. Without walk, I have crossed every bridge but once only. So if I start from here, one might say then okay, I come here. Again, I will try here, 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 I can come back, but this is left and two bridges are left. So, so if I want to come back here, I again have to cross more than, starting from B, if I want to come back to B, I have to walk one bridge twice. So this is a problem which has no solution. So this was telling that if we look at this situation very simply in this kind of diagrams you can make a lot of good conclusions so what it consists here is of vertices and edges connecting them these are called edges so these are called vertices or this is called a vertex and this is called an edge so a graph G is a collection of two sets, vertices and edges. So given a vertex say V1 or anything V is a vertex, suppose I have a V1 and, and an edge, suppose there is another V2 and there is an edge connecting them. Suppose then we will call that edge E12. So edge connecting vertex V1 and V2, which is same as E21 because it's connecting 2 with 1. It's also connecting 2 with 1. So this is how we name the vertices. So basically, or you can sometimes people write, okay, suppose I have a suppose this graph, I can write this as V1, V2, V3, and V4. So my set V. sorry v4 v1 v2 v3 v4 so what are my edges here there is an interesting part usually when people study graph theory in many of the simplest situations you have only one edge connecting two vertices here two edges are connecting two different vertices so basically you can now say So, so V1 and V2, V1 and V2, these are connected by say E12 and you can also say it's connected by E-12. So E12, E-12 and similarly you can say, but here they are connecting by a single edge. So V1 and V4, you will just write E14, right. And this is, you can write V24. This you can write V3, sorry, E, E24, E34. And of course, here I can also, you have to have E23 and E-23. So, this is how you can name the edges and vertices. Similarly, just, I'm not writing this again. So, Every edge, uh, there is a name, there is an interesting thing. We say there is a vertex and an edge is incident on a vertex. The number of edges that is there is incident on a vertex. That is called the degree of the vertex. For example, degree of this vertex, this V3. So degree of V3. Is... 3, because there are 3 edges incident here. 
degree of this vertex is 1, 2, 3, 4. Degree of V2 is 4. Observe one important thing that given an edge, whatever be the edge, there are always two vertex to which it is incident. It has to be. That is the meaning of edge. It connects two vertices. So if I sum up the degrees, so if I sum up the degrees of all the vertices, then so what are n vertices so each edge is contributing to the degree of two vertices so means total sum of the total degrees of each vertex vertex if i write them and sum them up that is nothing but twice the, the number of edges and this is called the basic Theorem of graph theory or the first theorem of graph theory. What Euler could show that that such a walk, which is what was later named as an Eulerian walk, where you can come start from a point on one vertex on the graph and come back to the same vertex by just walking every edge only once, that is possible if and only if all the vertices have are of even degree. So a graph G is Eulerian if and only if all the vertices are of even degree and that's one of the most fundamental results of, of graph theory. So a graph G is Eulerian if and only if each vertex, each vertex is of even degree. Writing a bit fast, so no, not to extend your time. So now let me tell you some books which I read first as an undergraduate student about graph theory. And when I was in St. Xavier's College, we had a small symposium on graph theory, and where uh, Professor uh, A. R. Rao uh, from ISI Kolkata came in, but he is not any there anymore. But he was a very very great graph theorist, one of the finest of India. So, one of the first book I that I read was Graph Theory by Narsingh Dev. It was an old study economy edition, I think, print print is all of India book. Uh, but I don't see it in my office right now. Maybe it's it somewhere here and that I have to figure out. But one of the easiest books to read about graph theory is this one, Introductory Graph Theory by Gary Chartrand. And this is a lovely book because it gives a lot of examples and for example, a theorem I am just writing. Every graph contains an even number of odd vertices. So, So odd vertex means the degree of that vertex is odd. So let us verify this on this Konigsberg graph. Every graph contains an even number of odd vertices. Here, let us see how many, how many, so what, so what is the degree, so sorry, degree of V2 here is 5, because you have this also. So that was a mistake, okay. So how many uh, graphs, how many points, uh, and how many vertices are of odd degrees? So here, this degree is 3, this degree is 5, this degree is 3, this degree is 3. So it says, every graph contains an even number of odd vertices. So all the points here, the four points, are having odd degrees. So the, this is a verification of this theorem. So I will suggest to start our little festival of two, three lectures on graph theory. I'll suggest that you look into this book if you can find it's a Dover publication book. Gary Chapter and also has more uh, involved books, but this is beautifully written with simple examples, with nice photographs, but also given is giving uh, some detailed proofs. 
This graph is not a very simple graph. It's not an elementary graph. This is called a multi-graph actually. When you have more than one edge connecting two vertices. A simple graph has only one edge connecting two vertices. For example, something like this. This is a simple graph. If between two edges, there is one vertex. So, so, so this is a something interesting, a subject which is interesting and there is a lot one can discuss about it. So tomorrow, as a part of the little graph theory festival, I will also show you other books on graph theory which I have in my collection. I will try to see if I can find or seeing them at home and bring it for you and see what are the things that they, in the book. Somebody has told one of the viewers that I should be able to take a book and discuss the books every part in more detail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this books on graph theory which are useful to many students especially the engineering students and talk and economic students and talk to them about the various aspects of graph theory yes, in slight detail maybe tomorrow. So tomorrow we will uh, have a bit more discussion about the books of graph theory where the difficulty will increase and go up to the research level. So thank you very much, have a good evening and all the best.